Hi guys and welcome back to SiteEng. In today's video I'm going to tell you about the 10 things every good engineer should have on construction site and as you can see now I'm sitting here on construction site and I hope you notice something is wrong here. Where's the PPE? Now it looks much better, so we can continue the video. So very first thing you must have actually, and that every good engineer have, especially on the first day on site, is boots, guys, the safety boots. That may surprise you a little bit, but 95% of the jobs, you need to come on site with your safety boots and uh, with your CSCS cards. And that's what I actually expect from people starting. They come in with their boots and with the CSCS card. That will be very first thing. And we engineers want good, comfortable, boots and it might be surprised for you if you're starting if you're just a beginner that you need the boots as all the rest of the ppe vest gloves glasses hard hat nice straps going to be provided by your employer but the boots you need to bring yourself the number two every good engineer have it's the measure tape and i cannot really imagine a good engineer without the tape and trust me i've seen some people without the tape so i got the tape here i'm using myself actually this is a stanley fat max i'm using this one five meter one and i got an eight meter as well and i got that nice tape holder for it and I keep it here on the strap and I got a tape all the time with me and obviously you can imagine that holder gonna save your tape as if you're gonna leave the tape they magically disappear from sight so another thing uh, I cannot imagine engineer without it's the calculator I got this one Casio it's typical one nothing fancy about it just to calculate some height of collimation take a simple calculation just adding really the simple stuff you don't need a expensive one doing some local grid on it for the local grid you're gonna use my spreadsheet and what you really need is the basic one and as I said I cannot really imagine any engineer without the calculator good engineers have it another thing gonna be actually some notepad I cannot imagine engineer without having some notepad here to just write some notes write some coordinates levels and whatever information he needs or maybe actually even about some mistakes made he want to make sure it never gonna happen again and it doesn't have to be this one this one obviously you're gonna get on most sites from your employer but sometimes they don't have them they don't want to bring them so whatever notepad you're actually gonna get make sure you got something to write on and to put your notes in another thing I really recommend to have and every good engineer actually have it's a drawing folder I got a folder like this here I really recommend this one as this is a waterproof one I keep all my drawings here I got G here and I know you can tell me Greg we're using the phones now we're using mobiles we're using pads all the stuff please don't use it we're not there yet I know they're going to be augmented reality they're going to be virtual reality we're probably we're going to see all the lines putting some glasses on but we're not there that and you want to communicate with the workforce as communication is the key you want to have a drawing here obviously as I said that folder is water resistant a little bit it's waterproof so it's good to have this you want to open the drawings speak with the people you want to check your rebar here you got your drawings everything in the folder keep it nicely I typically have my name here and the number so if I leave it somewhere someone can call me and give it back to me the folders they don't really disappear as you would leave the tape another thing every good engineer have it's the marker and I'm talking here about a few things first of all I'm gonna talk about the pencils and I myself using three type of pencils really I got a nice 0.71 for myself for, for keeping the notes sometimes to mark the datum with a thin one I got thick one two millimeter one I got proper line if I want to mark something also I got a big one that's a free one from Pablo but you can get this as well it's a proper cheapy one but we want this as well especially if some area is a little bit wet we can use this one you're gonna still leave the nice proper line another one for the markers it's obviously like a typical black marker that's a sharpie one I like this one it's got the sharp tip this one obviously for the marks as well and uh, I think the most important from the markers we need the tipex and every good engineer have a tipex and we're going to be using tipex for marking some rebar here making some datums as well so it's very important to have one of these as I still this is the main one for marking the steel so if you're dealing with the rebar the tipex is a must have really and another thing after we use our markers our pencils we got some points marked already we won't do the lines and for these guys I really recommend to use a proper good chalk line and every good engineer have his own and that's the one I'm using myself it's really good thick chalk line as you can actually see now I'm using that line I actually gonna spray it later a little bit but have a look that line later even after the rain was still there so that's why we want to use a proper chalk line another line obviously gonna be just a typical string line and this in 99% cases you're gonna get on site as everyone use it and we engineers 
must have it as well. If every good engineer has at least a little bit of string line with him at all times. And another thing, guys, good engineer got always few small hilty nails with him, a concrete nails. Wherever you're going to mark your line, you can drive the nails all the way in, so you're not going to lose your line. This is very important as you don't want to really come back and mark in the same stuff again and again. So that's really important thing to have few of them in your pocket all the time so in your bag i was when i was doing setting out myself i kept a small bag like this and i had the nails here i actually had my chalk line little targets as well and everything i needed doing the setting out and another very important thing to have and every good engineer have is a retro targets and they come in different shapes different colors but we want to make sure we actually use a retro targets if you want to set some new control point let's use this one i know we can just use a pencil we can set some points this is like temporary station so maybe for some as builds but if you want to do proper setting out we need to make sure and actually every good engineer have few of these ones to be able to set a new targets new control points for himself to make his life actually easy and comfortable to do all setting out and the last thing number 10 thing i got today for you it's the usb stick and this typically go with the total station you should have a usb stick but i don't have to tell you that they sometimes magically disappear as well so make sure you're going to have your own one so you can use later you can bring the data to your instrument you can actually take some surveys from the instrument out it's going to come on site you might need to do some survey and then no one going to have a usb so every good engineer have this as well so that would be the 10 things every good engineer should have and in most cases your employer actually provide you with this stuff but most of them going to be really low quality and in some cases you're not even going to get this so i'm just going to leave the links below to these items the stuff i'm using myself it's already checked by me and i really recommend these things and especially if you engineer you already make some money i really don't understand people who cannot just spend few pounds to make their life better to make their life easier really and make their job more professional as there is sometimes no point to wait for your employer and i'm saying even the low quality stuff they provide is just useless so spend that few pennies guys make your life easy and uh, that's going to be all in today's video just don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave the thumbs up if you like it and see you in the next one